Welcome to class 7 mathematics classes. We are in fraction chapter exercise 3b question number 8. The area of a rectangular plot of land is 817 whole 4 by 5 square meter if its breadth if its breadth is 21 whole 3 by 4 meter find its length okay so here area of rectangular plot is given and breadth of the rectangular plot is given then we will find length by the formula length is equals to area by breadth isn't it so solution according to question area of rectangular plot is equals to 817 whole 4 by 5 square meter and breadth breadth of rectangular plot is equal to 21 whole 3 by 4 meter now length will be equal to length of rectangular plot will be equal to area by breadth okay so here area is 817 whole 4 by 5 divided by 21 whole 3 by 4 this mixed fraction will convert it into improper fraction how this 817 into 5 plus 4 will get 4089 by 5 this divide here 21 into 4 plus 3 will get 87 by 4 do this calculation in rough now 4089 by 5 this divide will change into into and this will become reciprocal that is 4 by 87 now we can cancel it 87 one jar okay and here we get 47 87 into 47 is 4089 okay now when we multiply 47 into 4 we get 188 and in denominator 5 is there now do the division and write the improper fraction in mixed fraction that is 37 whole 3 by 5 when we divide this we get this okay so the length of the rectangular plot is this much and the unit is meter okay 37 whole 3 by 5 meter the length of the rectangular plot question number 9 the area of a sheet of paper is 623 whole 7 by 10 square centimeter if its length if its length is 29 whole 7 by 10 centimeter find its width so is same like question number 8 here the area of the sheet of paper is given and the length of the 
paper is given and we have to find the width okay so similar to question number eight this is according to question here area of a sheet of paper is equals to 623 whole 7 by 10 square centimeter okay it is in centimeter now length of a sheet of paper is given by 29 whole 7 by 10 centimeter so width will be width or breadth of a sheet of paper will be equal to area by length yes or no now area is equals to 623 whole 7 by 10 divided by the length that is 29 whole 7 by 10 623 into 10 plus 7 is 6237 by 10 divide here 29 into 10 plus 7 is 297 by 10 okay and here 6237 by 10 into 10 by 297 okay so now this is cancelled one time and 21 time 10 and 10 so we will get 21 centimeter as the width of a sheet of paper okay this calculation you can do in rough now question number 10 question number 10 a bundle of 500 sheets of paper has a net weight of 2 whole 3 by 10 kg find the weight of one sheet of paper the bundle of 500 sheet the weight is given here we have to find the weight of one sheet if we divide the total weight by the number of sheets we will get the weight of one sheet isn't it so according to question what we can do 500 sheets of paper is equals to 2 whole 3 by 10 kg 1 sheet of paper will be given by this is 10 into 2 plus 3 23 by 10 divided by 500 okay kg so here 23 by 10 into 1 by 500 reciprocal as we have changed the sign now this kg will convert it into gram so kg to gram when we convert we multiply by 1000 and this will change to gram isn't it this zero this zero this zero this zero and this zero and this zero cancelled now it will be equal to 23 by 5 which is equal to 5 4 whole 3 by 5 gram okay so the weight of one sheet of paper is 4 whole 3 by 5 gram question number 11 a 
car travels 283 hole 1 by 2 kilometer in 4 hole 2 by 3 hours okay how far does this car go in one hour traveling at the same speed okay traveling at the same speed so here distance is given car travels this many kilometer distance is given time is given now again it is asking distance how far does this car go in one hour so it is asking distance in one hour so if we divide the distance by this time we will get the distance covered in one hour isn't it so according to question solution will be what in four hole two by three hours a car travels 283 hole one by two kilometer okay kilometer now in one hour in one hour a car travels is equals to 283 hole 1 by 2 divided by 4 hole 2 by 3 so when we simplify it we get 567 by 2 divided by 14 by 3 okay 567 by 2 into the reciprocal of this 3 by 14 now this will be divided by 7 2 times 7 81 times and here 81 into 3 is 243 divided by 4 this improper fraction into mixed fraction will be 60 whole 3 by 4 kilometer so in one hour the car travels 60 whole 3 by 4 kilometer next is question number 12 okay the product of two fraction is eight whole seven by twenty seven if one of them if one of them is three whole one by fifteen find the other okay so here the product of two fraction is given that means two fractions multiplied and we got this if one of the fraction is this much find the other very easy question solution according to question product product of two fractions is equals to 8 whole 7 by 25 one of them is equals to 3 whole 1 by 15 therefore the other fraction will be equal to 8 whole 7 by 25 this if we divide one of the fraction this if we divide by one of the fraction then we'll get 
the other fraction so divided by 3 whole 1 by 15 now the work is to simplify so here is equals to 8 into 25 plus 7 is 207 by 25 divided by 15 into 3 plus 1 is 46 by 15 and 207 by 25 into 15 by 46 okay so here by 23 2 times 23 9 times and 5 3 times 5 5 times so 9 3 is a 27 and 5 2 is a 10 so the other fraction will be equal to 2 whole 7 by 10 this improper fraction converting into mixed fraction so other fraction we have formed is 2 whole 7 by 10 thank you very much